Now, we've talked about estrogen a lot, but just in case you haven't heard it, and even if you have, it's really important to go over this regularly because we need to know this stuff, ladies, and so do our doctors. And I can tell you most doctors don't know this stuff. No judgment. They don't have time. They don't have time to be reading articles. And furthermore, they can't even find the articles that would have this information. If you're following what science now supports, you will find out that estrogen is not only safe, but it's beneficial for lots of things that help us to not only feel good, but to live longer and stay healthier. So in the biggest study ever done in the United States for any reason, there was no increased risk in breast cancer. So if we don't take that data seriously, how, what on earth study would we ever believe? I mean, this is the biggest study done. Granted, it's 22 years old and it had a whole bunch of design flaws. But even in that setting, it showed no increased risk in breast cancer, decreased risk in the estrogen only arm and a null risk in the other arm. There was no increase. No, none. Okay, so some criticisms people have. Well, they stopped it after five years. So who knows what happens after that? Well, some of the women kept taking it. And so that's been taken into account. But if we know that taking estradiol for greater than 10 years shows no increased risk in breast cancer and actually shows a reduction in death from breast cancer, and this is true. So not only do you not have an increased risk of breast cancer compared to not taking anything, but your risk of dying if you do get breast cancer is lower if you took estrogen than if you didn't. This is just what these big studies have shown. Yeah, so granted... Few of them have lasted longer than 10 years, but if we take estrogen for 10 years and find that to be true, common sense would indicate that that probably continues going because the highest year's risk that we have for breast cancer is in our 60s, and so it's covering those years in these studies. So we've got to just use the information that we have from these massive studies and then apply a little bit of common sense as well as some very fancy statistics. I'm going to repeat, there is not one well-done, massive, randomized controlled trial that has shown an increased incidence of breast cancer when we take estrogen, even Premarin, but especially estradiol, versus if we don't. 